Hi, this is Amy. And today I'm going to invite you to live a life of love, looking for opportunities to join God at work. We're reading Ephesians chapter 5 today, and I invite you to read the whole chapter. We're going to start with verse 1 and 2, though, for this time. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Live a life of love. That's what God is calling us to do. You know, when I think about this, um, I'm thinking, would there be anything better than at the end of your life, someone saying about you, he or she lived a life of love. When I reflect on that, I think that would be the epitome of a life well lived. If someone would say about me, she lived a life of love. So what would that look like for us? Who is it that God is calling you to love today? Maybe it's a, a sacrificial love like Jesus demonstrated for us but I encourage you to step into that. We're also going to look at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, and it says this, making the most of op every opportunity because the days are evil. Shoot, we're living in a hard time right now, but God is still calling us to look for opportunities to join him at work. I want us to be alert for those opportunities, to be on the lookout. Um, so what does joining God at work look like for you? Maybe it's something as simple as making eye contact and smiling at the checkout lady. Maybe it's giving your kids an extra hug today. Maybe it's expressing appreciation to your spouse. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated or monumental. It might feel simple and seem inconsequential. But today, regardless, I invite you to live a life of love on purpose while you stay alert to opportunities to join God at work. Signing off from the lakes.